Hi, my name is Ant Joblin, and you're watching Smart Money, the show that gives you the inside edge on where smart money resides. Today, we're looking at a trade made by one of the leading lights in the scientific investment community, Patrick Son Shun, the dual South African and American transplant surgeon, billionaire businessman, bioscientist, and media proprietor. Soon Sean is involved with countless businesses in the biomedical sector at executive level and the chairman and CEO of today's stock, NantQuest Inc., a clinical stage immunotherapy company based in California. Main product candidates for this $1.17 billion market cap company includes treatment for cancers, infectious and inflammatory diseases. The firm is focused on harnessing the power of the innate immune system by using the natural killer cell. Now, Sunshon recently increased his holding in NantQuest at the end of June, purchasing 3.7 million shares for an average price of $12.12. This trade came just shy of $45 million in size and took his total holdings to 23.7 million shares, which at the time of the trade had a market value of $287 million. This trade took place as part of an underwritten public offering of an aggregate of 8,521,500 shares of its common stock. The terms included 4,811,500 shares at a price to the public of $9.50 per share and 3,710,000 shares at a price of $12.12 per share to Soon Shon. Earlier in June, NantQuest announced the publication of two peer-reviewed manuscripts in the Journal of Immunotherapy of Cancer, and in collaboration with the National Cancer Institute that Soon Shon described as validatory for the company's research. Looking at the financials, we can see that the firm has a negative price-to-earnings ratio after a disappointing performance last year. But when comparing the current price to its book value, we can conclude it is valued correctly and is trading an 11.39 times multiple. NantQuest has shown strong growth in earnings per share and in the last year it grew by 42.62%, which is quite impressive. Revenue has grown by 25.53%. Respective current and quick ratios of 3.1 indicate the firm is well capitalized and has no problem at all meeting its short-term obligations. Looking to the charts, we can see that the stock is trading at highs not seen since 2016 and price action is currently capped by stiff resistance at the $13 level. For the most part, 2019 was a bit of a blowout year where up until Q3, the stock ranged at all-time low prices between $1 and $1.5 per share. Currently, the stock has little up ahead in terms of technical resistance levels, preventing it from returning to its all-time highs around $38 per share. Momentum is trending in and around overbought territory, while both the 50-day and 200-day moving averages are trending higher below the current stock price. That's all we have time for today, but as always, make sure you do your own comprehensive research before making an investment decision. Thanks for watching and join us next time.